Hello friends. Today I am going to create a simple PDF using Rust. This is a simple mathematics worksheet can be used for small kids for practicing their subtraction and addition. But I will be mostly focused on the technical concept you are going to learn using this simple exercise. Here I have generated you know the numbers randomly this is the the upper number should be the greater than the lower number and we can generate this entire page dynamically and i have been using some random number generator inside rush to generate this number randomly and i have created a different uh, crate for generation of pdf so pdf generation is usually people from javascript html background are more comfortable to using puppeter or phantom js but here i am using some other pdf create available in the rush so the uh, the way to create is slightly different now let's get started so before i show the code let me show the dependency here you can initialize a simple rush project and add two dependency one is run for this uh, random number generator and print pdf So I am planning to create this PDF for, you know, with passing this file name and plus or minus. Before I create the PDF for uh, explain about the PDF, so the important concept here is that this number should be generated randomly. So we can give some bounds, like how many digits we want. Like if you see here, this is a five digit on top and five digit on below. So we should make uh, that, uh, you know, look and feel a little bit consistent. And each time we can uh, create a method first of all to generate these random numbers. Now let me show you first of all that. So for that I have created a you know uh, simple function so number pairs, which will return in you know, a string. I'll tell you in a second why I need string. But first of all we'll generate as in uh, numbers. So to call this function, we need this uh, thread range. This random uh, random number generation is not part of built-in Rust. So we have to use rand create to get uh, the functionality on top of it. And we can call this generated range function and we can pass this range. If you see here, I am given 10,000 to 99,000 and same range I given here. So here I'm using the same function and I'm storing in a tuple, N1 and N2. This N1 and N2 are I32, so the, both are numbers. And I make it mutable because I, if you see my PDF, for the addition, it doesn't matter like you, which number is greater or smaller, but for subtraction, that uh, upper number should be, you know, greater than the lower number. So here I made a small, you know, logic. If n1 is less than n2, I am swapping this number. This tuple syntax makes it very easy to swap it. So this will interchange the value between n1 and n2. And because once we get this number, mostly I, I want to give the spacing and, you know, do some adjustment into this uh, look and feel I, because I am not going to deal with the number anymore. Just I want to present as a textual format. That's why I convert this to simple string. So I've used the format and I've just, uh, this is a, if there is no n two string method I found. So this is one approach I found how we can convert a number to a string. If you find some different approach, please leave a comment below. But this is the approach I found like converting to number to string, which can be reused later in the PDF rendering part. And this random generation part is completed. Now, now this is the kid calling this PDF. This PDF function I have created is a simple utility because I have given this file name and this plus or minus. Plus or minus is just a kind of, uh, you know, symbol to put it here. It doesn't do any kind of significant operation. Just a string appending as a prefix in this part. So once this uh, PDF is generated, if you want to create version 2 date, we can give any file name. 
so this is a, it will be created under this out folder so you can specify anything you like so this function takes two argument it, it doesn't return anything so the file name and the operator these are some constant i've created these all uh, are floating point numbers there's some dimension in in terms of you know uh, how, what should be the width and the height of this pdf size i'm using a4 pdf size so if you google it so you'll get this width and height in millimeter so i got this dimension 210297 from google but this would be the width and height 210 millimeter 297 in height and this uh, these, these are some kind of uh, x and y indexes because here we have to uh, you know specify where you want to write the text column x and column y if you see here there are two columns this is column the, the one column the second column so this is a x point uh, where it will start this is from x this is from y this is for the first column index and second column index so this i did a lot of hit and trial and got this result uh, you know coordinates and for the row coordinates uh, these are the three rows one two three so x and y would be the same x coordinate would be same for both columns but y will be changed so this kind of uh, you know indexes i got it this simple to derive if you try with some example you can get it and now coming to this uh, pdf generation part i'm using as i already mentioned i'm using this uh, print pdf uh, crate and you can see some example in that uh, github pages it is very simple to use so the pdf document new and these all are you know that uh, some rust analyzer giving some helpful input because i increase the font size it looks a little bit uh, ugly but it is quite simple if you see that clearly the first argument is document title and this initial page width and height so if you given this mm width i mentioned that width i given is the, the constant and height and this layer one the initial layer one the pdf will contain multiple pages and multiple layers i think the page and layer are like synonymous so for the simple purpose and here we can use like font because we have to decide which kind of font we have like we have several kind of built-in fonts if you see here all kind of different uh, default fonts are available and if you, you can see some example if you want to use some kind of uh, custom font that is also possible here you can add the uh, custom font as well and because it is small utility i am not doing any kind of proper error handling i am just unwrapping this uh, part so that in case of it is failing to load this default built-in font so it will panic or crash the program but I assume it is successful, so it will return a uh, font reference. And this is I am looping through this uh, particular uh, simple loop one to ten. This is the number of pages I want to create. If you want to customize it, you can pass a parameter here and set a ten number with some variable. So this will say like how many pages you want to create. And this is slide one simple logic. If this current layer because this uh, from this particular page document dot new it will return three thing one is document one is page reference page index one is layer index so if this index is one for the first page so you can do document dot get page get layer because this particular first one initialize it will create a reference for the page and layer so this page one we can pass layer one we can pass and we'll store as a current layer so we no need to create it we have to retrieve it the first page because first time we initialize as part of the pdf document so one page reference will be created but for the next page onwards we have to create another function known as add page so we have to explicitly add another pages if this won't be initialized as part of the first time 
So if i equal to 2 to 10 so we have to add pages and again we have to give width and height because in pdf multiple pages can contain multiple width and height just to give the consistent pdf size and uh, width and height so we can give the same width and height and this is a layer name i given this uh, page uh, with the index page 2 page 3 it is not visible anything this is just a kind of convention to give the layer name for internal purpose and once we do that it will return the page to a layer if you see here it is written like document page layer thing but here there is a no document is rendered because document is one so only page one and layer would be added <coughs> so we can retrieve again doc dot get page get layer and if you see that here in other programming language this if else condition as the statement but here in the rush it is expression that means we can return inside it there is no semicolon here that means this part will be written and stored into variable current layer so this current layer is we will do most of the processing or uh, write the text here so this is a my own function custom defined function say add text this is not provided by you know that uh, create for each page, uh, the, for one page, this is the, this is the, all this uh, add text we have to add. You know, but this should be for one page. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each section is uh, one one section. This is one section. This is two section, and uh, similarly we have six section. Inside add text, we are passing this current layer with the font and with that uh, where we want the x and y coordinates and this plus or minus and in this add text right we have to do some uh, text uh, manipulation this, there are some one simpler way to do that how we can add that text if it is a kind of ascii text or some kind of textual information you can add it but because i want to introduce a new line and uh, there are some alignment i have to do as per x and y coordinate I've used some slightly complex thing. Like we can start begin text section and in the end you have to do like end text section. And here you can set like uh, some kind of font properties. Set font, the font difference with the font size. And text cursor, like what are the coordinates we receive like X and Y. We pass this uh, cursor, that is where the text will start writing and the line height and character spacing this character spacing uh, 7 to 8 this, this gap is coming from this character spacing and in this case I am calling this random function the random number generation so I get a number pair A and B and this one interesting thing just to get this line this line the below this two hyphen I I got this uh, a length plus two, and I just repeated this uh, particular string hyphen. Then this uh, writing text with some space and a, a is the first number. And then there is a line break, then uh, this operation plus minus and the b second number, and there is a hyphen and the line break and hyphen. This is quite simple one. So this is the first number, line break, second number, line break, and hyphen. Then end the selection. This is the most of this complex logic involved here. So this I call again and again for this all six section. So if you have number of pages, this will be repeated. And once you uh, complete this particular current layer part, then document will have the already reference, then document will save. So here you can give this uh, inside this buffer writer file create file name and again I am not doing error handling assuming that uh, it is a simple utility so I am doing undrop here so buffer writer new I am giving the file create and file name and save it so this document will be created again to summarize this PDF generation I am passing this uh, file name and this uh, operation plus minus the important thing is that you know random number generation utility i giving some range and got some numbers 
and given some contact construct and here i am getting this current layer and inside this current layer i am adding like this text setting some different fonts and setting that data what do you want to write with some line breaks and saving this document at the end so i'll be giving this uh, i will be storing this uh, project as a github project i'll give the github link below so you can refer it uh, back so thanks very much for watching have a good day bye bye